Hi everybody, nice to see you again. This is Howard from Lounge Academy, WBIG TV. And I like to um, talk about things I think about pursuing the art and craft of improvising and kind of feeling free at the piano so you're not locked into strict formulas and things. When I just sat down, I had an idea that I thought, you know, this would make a great video. And it's something I kind of thought about a lot over the years, but not, I didn't kind of like, tr I didn't test myself at it in a number of years now. And I noticed the difference when I did. At, what, what I'm thinking about is, is mistakes, you know? I've always embraced mistakes. I think they're, you know, I mean, they, you know, they, they say you learn from your mistakes, you know, but nowhere is it more true than in developing a vocabulary in, in music, I, I think. And because I make mistakes constantly, whether they're often they're technical mistakes where my fingers just don't go where I thought they were going to go or their mistakes and rounding errors with my, with my ear, right? Thinking of something's gonna be a certain interval that I'm hearing and sometimes I'm not even close. Um, in any event, I actually, I love those things and, and more, more and more so because they're becoming less, uh, hazardous to me. So, you know, in, in pra when you're practicing, of course, you don't, you know, you don't mind as much because you're not going to be embarrassed and humiliated other than in front of yourself. Although that, that can be pretty painful, but I've always felt, and I, I know it's still true, is that my mistakes are much more creative than I'll ever be. You know, so my mistakes really show me the road, the pathway to new things. You know, it, it, they're, they're kind of like the mistakes in nature that uh, contribute to uh, the theory of evolution, for example. You know, so I'll show you what I, what I was just thinking of. You know, I'm playing along and I, I like to kind of do... I try to play a half hour a day of, I try to play more than a half hour a day. I don't always, of course, but um, in my, my perfect day, at least, I, or, or a half hour of that is gonna be not playing any songs, just playing. And uh, I started doing this in, the, in 1996. I started with a G minor, I remember. And I think I did chromatics, because you can't go wrong with chromatics. Of course, they didn't sound like that, because I couldn't do them as well. Not that I'm that great now. I'm still, I'm finally getting some traction with that stuff. But um, you play along. Everybody, a lot of people, they've got their, you know, you, you've gotten to the point where you've got, you're, maybe there's, six two five ones which is kind of the basic of like 99 percent of the songs right so you, you do them in different keys and whether you're thinking of that or not you're doing them or variations on them so i just do stuff every day i make a few I'll, I'll just like expand a phrase accidentally by something and I'll go, oh yeah, you know, never thought of going there. And it just kind of builds and builds and builds day after day, week after year, decades, until you can just kind of play for uh, several hours without actually playing anything, you know? And, and it's, it's, it becomes less and less detectable that you're just doing the same stuff over and over again because I guess it becomes enough variation on a theme, you know, that... Uh, you can fool people uh, and 
sometimes yourself into thinking you're not just playing the same old thing over and over again. But back to the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to think about purposely either wait for the, the mistake or purposely play it for the, don't, you don't have to purposely play a mistake, but for the purpose of this video, I might, let's say I'm doing a, just some stuff here. And what happens, you know, earlier on, the mistakes were more like stepping in a hole. Like you, some, some notes fit in, you know, and you don't notice them. They fit into the harmony. But um, sometimes they're, you know, they're real stinkers, right? They're just like, what the hell are you going to do with the note? And they're not a mistake yet until you don't treat it properly. And, it, you know, it, it's, hard to, it's hard to treat something properly by using a formula while you're playing. You're just, you're just doing too many things to be able to multitask like that and, and sound musical. So... But as your, as your vocabulary builds up, you'll recognize those mistakes, that, that really sour note is that clam, as it seems less like, like a hole you stepped in where there's nowhere to go gracefully, to you stepped on something that you could work with, you know, you stepped on something that you could pivot on or you could step up on, and it takes you into a slightly different direction and then back again. And uh, nobody's the wiser. In fact, they think you were clever for doing it. I'll, I'll see if I can do it and then point them out. Um, I'll try to... I'll try, okay, I'll try to hit some by mistake. Context. See if we come up with something worse. But I'll show you. I'll try to just hit some random notes. I'll play them louder than the other notes. Let's try that. See that kind of a bluesy thing I turned it into. For me to communicate this to you because because you can't read my mind and I'm trying to I'm trying to hit some real stinkers in there and then you know go in that slight it's kind of like um, becoming more and more graceful to where you can walk down the sidewalk trip on a crack right and make it look like you know. You either planned it or you just, you know, you, you're not worried about it. You know, you turned it into something nice. You know, you turned it into something graceful. So that's the point I'm trying to make in the video and why I'm, I'm doing it uh, right now for you is because the idea is, you know, thrive on these mistakes. Just never stop. Just keep going. You've heard that. They say don't stop. Um, also, try, try my way, you know, where you're not being formulatic. Don't think of scales. Don't think of what, what notes are supposed to go with what chord. Play a bunch of chromatics if you want. Then there's no rules, right? And you grow, grow outward from there. And, you know, there's nothing lost because chromatics, you'll never have enough chromatics. You'll never have enough command of chromatics, no matter how far you get, in my opinion. <laughs> about being sloppy. Well, I'm telling you all the stuff your teachers tell you not to do, right? But 
And they're right. I'm not arguing with anything they tell you. Um, I took, you know, I studied, you know, traditionally. So I, I know what they're telling you. And um, it's all good stuff. I'm just showing you something a little different and the way I actually think every day. And it's helped me a lot because um, you need a certain amount, a certain amount and a certain type of talent to thrive in the academic world of jazz improvisation, to wax musicology with you. And those, those were talents and innate sensibilities that unfortunately I, I, I was not born with and equipped with. And it took me many more decades to, to get a handle on things. And I finally did by applying my own path, right? Nobody could do anything better than you if it's being you, right? So it works for me. So it might work for you, especially if you're struggling with improvisation. Maybe this is the path to go. It's not a, it's not a shortcut, but it's something you build on every day. And, uh, you know, those, those years are going to go by anyway, right? So you might as well get wherever they're going with this stuff with you, right? You know? Let's make some mistakes. I'm having trouble demonstrating mistakes. Let's try to, I'm gonna to try to play the worst note I could find in context to what I'm doing. And I won't even be very good at that because I'm not talented enough to be sure something's gonna sound rotten. My ear isn't that good, but I'll try. I'm just gonna hit things that seem counterintuitive and some of them will be real clams and then we'll see if we can gracefully keep it going like somebody might think I was actually being clever by playing those, those bad notes. some there that, um, you know, years ago, if I hit those, like that E flat I just hit, I wouldn't have known, that, that just would sound like, oh, you, you know, I might as well just like go to bed and get up again and start the day over because I can't get past that note. Like there's no way I could, you know, not continue on without turning beat red and if I'm playing in front of people. Even my pets, some of these mistakes would embarrass you in front of your pets, right? I'm trying to make a mistake, let's be careless. A lot of mistakes in there. I don't. What's a mistake? You know, um, people always criticize my teachers, my mentors. Not all of them. Some of them who are great, but think more traditionally sometimes, and certainly work for them. The people I'm thinking of, you know, world class. But we'd be playing, and I'd be playing for them, you know. And you'd do something, and they say, "Wait, stop! What? You know." That lick you did there, what you did there, that was really good, but you know, but it was sloppy. Um, why don't you, when that happens, why don't you stop and do it a bunch of times so you, you get it into your fingers, you know, and the next time you could use it. And I, I, you know, agree because I'd know that they would just argue till the end of time if I explained what I was really thinking, the way, the way I think about that, and it's like. I'm just going to go on faith, and I did, and I'm still on that journey, that you can, you can be, you can, 
I, it's better to be sloppy and real because eventually you'll be less and less sloppy. And if you got all the other stuff, if you're, as your time improves and all the sensibilities, all those other parts of what makes something musical, you know, the things you can't even, the magic part of it, you know, the part that you don't know why it is, but it is. Um, once those things start kicking in, um, what's the difference if you slur a note or something, right? You can make it work anyway. It's how you treat it afterwards. Do something else sloppy afterwards, like you're echoing it, and they'll think you did it on purpose. Like they say, repeat a mistake if they think you did it on purpose. I do that all the time. I try to repeat a mistake, and then I make another mistake, and I just keep doubling down. <laughs> That takes a certain amount of skill to be able to repeat a mistake, right? See, that was a big mistake harmonically. Let me know if this made any sense, if any parts of it made any sense, if you made it past the first 10 seconds. I don't blame you if you didn't. And uh, be charitable and give me uh, some comments, even if they're nasty, which I know they won't be. Um, just something, I'm trying to get YouTube while I'm doing this to kind of get a little traction. I've only got 30 subscribers. I'm the world's worst YouTuber, right? I mean, I'm pretty slick with my video. Look, I, I do video while I'm, I do live stuff on Fridays and people actually like it. And I can switch cameras here while I'm, some of them I got pointed outside right now because I use them as security cams when I'm not doing music. But, uh, you know, I'm so, somewhat sophisticated with my videoing, um, yet I've got 30 subscribers. I just, you know, I guess, you know, some people can cook. Some people are terrible cooks. Some people can YouTube. A buddy of mine, he comes here on Fridays. You'll see him if you tune in on my Facebook Live at Facebook slash Goldman Howard from 7 to 11 on Friday nights. We do a piano party. You'll, you'll like it. If you're watching this, you'll love it. Um, we've got great talented people here, different professionals every week. And... Uh, one of our regulars just turned 100, Pete just turned 100,000 subscribers, right? Now there's no mystery why he's got 100,000. To me, there's a little bit of a mystery why I only have 30. I mean, I owe more than 30 people money, you would think, and more than 30 people owe me money. You'd think they'd all subscribe at least, right? Someday all these things will become clear to us, ladies and gentlemen. In the meantime, just keep practicing. There was a beautiful mistake right at the end. I hit an E instead of an F. Sounds kind of cool to just leave it out there like that. I don't think it sounds unresolved. It sounded like it could have been kind of a humor thing, right? Bye everybody.